Hi, now here we have a question on sequences that you might like to try. So if you would just pause the video, have a go, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all then what we've got is a sequence U1, U2, U3 that satisfies this particular recurrence relationship. U subscript n plus 1 equals 2 U subscript n minus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 1. And we're given that the second term in the sequence U2 is equal to 9. And in part A we've got to find the value of the third term in the sequence U3 and the value of the fourth term U4. And then we've got to go on in part B to evaluate the sum sigma of the first four terms are going from 1 to 4 of UR. Okay, so let's see how we go about that first part A. Eh? Finding out the value of the third term and the fourth term in the sequence. Well, we start with when n equals 2 to get us the third term. When n equals 2, what we've got here is u 2 plus 1, the third term in the sequence, u3, is equal to 2 un, n being 2, so is equal to twice the second term in the sequence, minus 1. Okay? And we know what the second term in the sequence is. We were told that it was 9. So we've got 2 times 9 minus 1. And if you work that out, you've got 18 minus 1, which is 17. So our third term in the sequence is 17. To get the next term, the fourth term, u4, we just need to let n equal 3. So when n equals 3, we've got u3 add 1, u4 in other words, the fourth term in the sequence is equal to 2u3, 2u3, minus 1. We know what the third term is, it's 17, so you've got 2 times 17 minus 1. 2 is 34, take away 1 is 33. Okay, so we've got the third term and the fourth term. Now when it comes on to part B, we've got to work out the sum of the first four terms. So we'll start by putting sigma r going from 1 to 4 of ur. So what that means then is when r is 1 you get u1, then it's sigma which is the sum of, and then when r is 2 you get plus u2, similarly when r is 3 you get u3, and then when r is 4 you get u4. So it's the sum of the first four terms. Problem is we haven't got the first term, u1. But we can get that because we already know the second term, 9. So we know that 9, okay, when n equals 1, we've got u2, which is the second term, 9, equals 2u1 minus 1. So 2u1 minus 1. And if we add 1 to both sides, we therefore have 10 equals 2 u1, divide both sides by 2, and you've got the first term in the sequence, u1, is equal to 5. Okay? So we can pop our terms into this summation here. u1 then is 5, plus u2, which we're told is 9, plus u3, which we worked out is 17, plus u4, which we worked out is 33. And if we add these terms together, what we end up with is 64. Okay, so hope you're able to get that. And there you go. All right.